Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of FIFA Southampton career mode and today we are trying to wrap things up as soon as possible as I said in the last episode so there will be seven games to play games in April all the way to May and you know it's 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 uh it's an episode where it's uh, all of nothing now it's like we are trying I'm trying to show you the journey of going to Europa League or European football at this point because I, I will never know if I can get to Champions League at this point. But here is the first game. We're going to play against Watford away from home. And here is the lineup for them. A very conventional 4-4-2 formation. And Danny Welbeck is not on the bench. I'm pretty disappointed. And there's Southampton, our team. 4-4-1-1, Doherty, Bednarek, Abamecano, Bertrand, Fugini, Lamina, Paredes. Redmond Aberici as comes back on and Danny Ings going to leave the front line and I just realized one thing Danny Ings haven't scored in a lot of games recently and apparently he's in the gold cold spell Hopefully it doesn't it's not gonna last long Here's the core to Martinez with great save by Angus Gunn good sliding tackle get back the ball right there Here's Nathan Redmond, Nathan Redmond bursting down the left hand side Nobody's marking him, nobody can catch him. Cross in the middle to Danny Ings. Took a shot, but good save by the goalkeeper. And that was an that was an offside anyway. And again, mistake by Watford. Here's a counter attack for for us. Lamina looking for a pass in the middle to Danny Ings. Took a shot, but it hits the post. This is what I was talking about. He should have taken those two chances. But oh well. And here's uh, Nathan Remel on the left hand side again, crosses in the middle to Stuart Armstrong. Puts it back into Danny Ings, but he misses that again. So he misses three chances there. Is Martinez dribble past the goalkeeper? No, dribble past the defender, and good save by Angus Gunn again. So far, he might be the player of the season for us. Here's Danny Ings, the Paredes to Nathan Redman. Took a shot, but good save by the goalkeeper again to deny it. We still haven't scored a goal yet. Pretty frustrating. Right here, he crosses the, uh, clears the ball by a Bettner wreck, and Danny Ings somehow it's it's right there. Here's a counter attack for us. Sweat sweats in the middle to uh, Stuart Armstrong. I'm not gonna take any chances there. I just need to score at that point, so I don't care how I score. In the end, we score one nothing for us in the 80th minute or 77th minute. But again, great save by Angus Gunn right there. And that's how the game ends. One, I think a pretty boring game actually. You know, it's actually a really exciting game for us. We have a lot of shots, for sure. But unfortunately, right here, Aberucci is gonna pick up an injury, so I'm not sure if that will be the end of his season, his debut season for Southampton. But you know, you never know. Actually, I know what happened, but you guys gotta stay till the last, the last. Um, last part of the video to find out so here's uh here's our team right here four four one one uh Stuart Armstrong comes back on this time and Gibbs White's gonna be on the lineup again haven't used him much recently and we were playing against Manchester City the Giants we lost them 5-1 in the we first fixture this time hopefully we are not going to be that bad and here's the lineup for them 4-3-3 Ederson, Cancelo, Sul, Sanchez, Ajelino, Allen, Rodri, Erickson, Silva, Aguero, and Sané this is the lineup still looking very very scary I mean I, I think I have a PTSD against them changing myself to an ultimate which I do not belong to that level is Paredes controlling in the middle good dribbling to Stuart Armstrong try to do a finesse shot but that was quite close good effort though is Bettnarek Doherty James Watt Prowse they're pressing pretty pretty high and that's how we made a mistake there Aguero to Allen took a shot but it was a soft shot uh, Angus Gunn somehow puts that behind him and here is Silva Oh, doing some magic here in the box. Nobody can get him. Crossing the middle to Allen. Took a shot. And somehow they score. one nothing, And we're conceding again before the first half. 
And right here we made a mistake again here. Silva, Bernardo Silva, but good save by the goalkeeper again. Here's the corner kick. Punch that out. Here's Sanchez. Sewell. In the middle of the Aguero, but great save by Angus Gunn. We got to do better against top teams right here now. And here is a counter attack for us. Beautifully laid out for uh, Fagini. Cross in the middle to Armstrong, but should have scored there for sure. And again, they made a mistake here. We're trying to do a counter attack. Gibbs White comes on. And here's Armstrong all by himself now. Somehow still misses that. Again. A chance for us, Danny Eggs to Stuart Armstrong, skip past the def uh, defender, and he's missed that again. This is what kills us at this point, as we have so many chances, we cannot bury them. Like the last episode, we lost three games in a row. We should have won at least, you know, one of them or two of them, except the game against Norwich. But that's how it is. And here is the third game we were playing against Everton. We're gonna see some familiar faces, of course. And here's a lineup for uh, for Everton four two three one. Actually, none of them actually looks familiar to me. All of them are quite new. Yep, pretty much quite new. And uh, you, you never know. Like after three four seasons, the whole lineup completely change, which is quite quite amazing. At some point, it's like. You know, you just completely change the whole team within that five season. You don't see that in the earlier days or early days in the Premier League or early 2000, early 2010s. But anyway, here's the lineup for us: four, four, one, one. Hulsberg comes back in, and Stuart Armstrong still in the still in the uh, the, the starting lineup, even though he saved us a lot of time, Stuart Armstrong. But the last game against Man City, we should have won there with the last three chances he had. Anyway, here's Stuart Armstrong, chips it back into Nathan Redmond on the left-hand side. Going by himself, take a shot, but Jordan Pickford should have did better there. And here's, uh, that's how we scored the first goal. Here's Armstrong to Danny Ings. To Armstrong again, back to Danny Ings, and this is a very good team goal there. Just a 1-2-1-2, one, two, one, two. playing the little own games there, making 2 nothing. And here's Everton on the left hand side, Irobi, former Arsenal player. Skip past the defender, Doherty. Cross in the middle. But for some reason there's a penalty. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a red I mean that's a uh, that's a handball. And we gotta look at this again. Actually I don't know. Alright, okay, that's a foul there. But silly mistake by Hollisberg. Even though he's put on the bench. He's still making a lot of silly mistake in the middle, and that's one of them. And we might concede the goal here, but unfortunately, Kramerek somehow misses that pretty badly, and we're still two nothing up. Here's James Watt Prowse to Fagini in the middle to Danny Ings, but great finish by Danny Ings. And should he should have you know contributed more in the last four or five games, where he barely scored at that point. Right now, he's on fire for some reason. Here's James Watt Prowse. Dribble past the defender, took a shot, and what a great solo effort by himself. By the captain, future captain for me. He's gonna have a long, you know, long future here. And here is Kramarak. Pretty, pretty nice play here. Nobody catches him, but good save by Angus Gunn on the other hand. Here's a corner for uh, for Everton. Crosses the middle, and in the end, that's how we conceded the first goal of the game. And uh, Richarlison score. A very nice finish in front of goals, and here's Che Adams comes on for Danny Ings for sure. Take a shot, but great save and great effort. And that's how the game ends. Four one. Finally, we won a you know a, a large score game in like months. And here is a report, Eng uh, young British report. Fortunately, none of them hitting the ninety mark, which is I except one of them, Ellie Alexander, but. I think we'll sign him at this point, even though he has a low over score, and that's the end of the uh, scouting dreams. So I'm gonna do another nine months in England to find some young English talent, and this is the t how the table is. After losing so many games, we are sitting at 
six with 66 points and we are eight points away from fifth i mean that's pretty much sums it up how uh sums it up the uh the rest of the season but still we are uh we have five points ahead might be eight points we have a game in hand against the play uh against the team in seven which is wolves oh actually never mind we have two games in hand right now if we won all of them we would be uh yeah we'll be eight, eight points ahead but you know what at this point we still have to do our best to win every games we have a chance i mean we definitely have a chance for europa league right now not um not champions league it's just how terrible how we lost how 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 i lost three games no four games in like four games and six six games it's ridiculous so i'm the one who i'm the one who to blame and also the players should have like should should be the player i mean should be the ones to be blamed there but anyway jump back into the gameplay and here um against brighton this time they're playing a five two three formation again sticking with the f5 at the back not a big fan tried that before and um here's the first chance for us nathan redman on the left hand side again he has been doing very good for us james Ward prowse in the 28th minute take a shot great save by ryan to deny the first goal here's lamina in the middle again bursting down Going by himself again to Nathan Redman. Good cut in the middle. Pass in the middle to Stuart Armstrong and he puts that back in. One nothing for Southampton in the 49th minute. Here's Lamina. Made a great tackle. Made in great intercep interception, of course. Danny Inks. Stuart Armstrong again. Back to Danny Inks. This time he has to score their very good one to play by themselves. Nobody could mark Danny Inks at that point. Dragging themselves outside is uh, Morgan Gibbs boy to Fagini and he has been taken down in the box by the defender silly mistake of course and that will be a yellow card for Bernardo luckily he didn't get sent off at that point but look at this again there's no there's no way close he's at the ball and of course a silly challenge you would never ever make a sign tackle in the box if you're unsure and here's Che Adams Let's try to shoot down the top right corner but he hits the post so definitely not his season in Southampton Jersey so he, his future is pretty uncertain at this point couldn't score goals even though I gave him a couple chances in the starting lineup he still couldn't bury that in and it turns out I thought he might be a, a bright star for, uh, for Everton Everton at that point but not anymore and here is the fifth game I, f I lost count at this point yeah fifth game against um for Bournemouth away from home 4 4 one one is the hoot our former Everton boy and uh he's suiting himself really well here in the Premier League football and there's Southampton lineup, 4-4-1-1, four, four, one, one. back for it, it's always the same, most likely the same. Fagini, James Boyd, Prowse, Lamina, Rentman, Armstrong, Danny Ings, and I'm pretty sure, per I, I think, I think Paredes is injured. I'm not sure if it's on the slideshow, but he's going to be out for two months with a broken toe, and that's, and, and he's done for the season. And uh, right there. Again, we don't have a lot of chances for sh for sure. Here's Jumbo playing in the cam area, doing very good. Here's James to uh, to Gibbs White, and that's we and that's how we score in 84 minute. That's that's probably the only goal we score. Again, not a lot of chances, only two close chances we have. But in the end, anyway, I'm not gonna complain much because we took it, we won, and surely we are going to secure that Europa League place. But um, but for sure we're not going to uh going to champions league this time but anyway you know it doesn't matter because you got we gotta take it slow to make it more realistic so um and here is the team here's the game against manchester united away from home last time we lost 2-1 we, we were one nothing up but somehow we uh botched it with a red card by betnerick playing one man down and we conceded two goals in the last 20 minutes Alexis Sanchez back in the lineup 
Well, probably he, he never left in this game, but here's the lineup for us. Same back four. Jumbo comes on, Gibbs White, Hallsberg, Nathan Redmond, Stuart Armstrong, Danny Inks. Uh, a couple of changes here and there, in the, especially in the middle part. And here is uh, first chance for us. Stuart Armstrong, good tackle by Pereira, but not strong enough. Take a good shot, but Hallsberg hits the bar. And here it's uh, Jumbo on the right hand side. He's looking very fast here. Probably 90 plus pace. Crossing the middle, Danny Ings, but should have scored there again. We still need a uh, world class striker for sure. And right there, very good, beautifully taking set pieces to Pereira. And he scored uh, in the first half. Stuart Armstrong to Danny Ings. But hits that wide outside, outside the net. Here's Juan Mata to Pereira. Back to Sanchez again. To the lot. To uh to Marcus Rashford. Hits that but good save by by Angus Gunn. And here finally up on Mancano getting his first ever goal for efforts and a very nice, a very nice header by the way. Uh it's powerful enough and loop it right over De Gea Arena's 1-1 crossing the middle to uh, Ben Juan I think that's how you pronounce his name hits that one hits the post but took a rebound by himself 2-1 and here's Nathan Redman not cro not clearing the ball here's Doherty not the fastest guy but a very uh, uh, a very experienced right back He's still going by himself, beating Pereira, even though he's a giant. He's in the box right now, crossing the middle of Nathan Redman. And a terrible, terrible shot there. And here again, good save by uh, Angus Gunn. Here's a counter attack for us. Halsberg to Gibbs White. Going by himself to Lamina. Again to Halsberg again. To Che Adams right here. Cuts back inside. And this time he finally scored a good goal for us. Doing something very valuable. 2-2. Two -two. And here is a uh, corner kick for Manchester United. We still cannot concede this pull man. But a great, great effort by Martial. And that's how the game ends. 2-2. Two -two. And that's pretty much... Uh, that's pretty much the result for a Premier League. Um, right now we are heading against, heading in the last game in the Premier League season. Finally, 38 games, and um, I managed to play all of them without simming, simming any of the of the games. And right here, you will see a lot of players uh, who who play as a backup before. So Alex McCarthy, Jake, Jake Stevens, some of them are, some of them might be leaving actually. I'm not sure who, but I mean not all of them, but some of them because I need to uh, change the whole team in order to compete competitively in the European football. But anyway, this game, no matter win or lose or draw, we are still going to uh, we're still going to be in the Europa League, which uh, which I'm pretty sure I did it at this point. <laughs> I'm just happy that we could we have a chance to be in the European football. But anyway, it's the first chance for uh for uh for Sheffield United and we and they score in the tenth minute. It doesn't matter anyway. So here's Shaw crosses in the middle, blocked by the defender. Again, good good tackle by McQueen, but has that over the uh uh, the goalkeeper and here's James Watt Prowse a very shitty shot and here's uh, Armstrong a 1-2 back to him again and that would be a should be a red card isn't it yeah it should be a red card he was the last defender but the most important thing is was that a penalty or is that a um, uh, or is that a free kick right outside the box? I'm not sure yet. We gotta find out soon. Looks like it's outside the box. And Jake Wright unfortunately has to come out. 
and uh, Sheffield Sheffield United has to make a crucial crucial change here. And here's James Ward Prowse taking this free kick, 90 yard out, and what a beautiful, beautiful free kick by him. And the goalkeeper Henderson definitely not gonna make that save for sure. It's beautifully taken. One uh, one one for us is Shea Adams to Stuart Armstrong. Take an early shot, but good save by the goalkeeper. Turns out it's not Henderson. And it's Fagini we're playing this counter-attack. Armstrong to Che Adams. He's on side all by himself at this point. What is he going to do? He's gonna sweat to the middle to Stuart Armstrong, even though it hits the defender. Luckily it wasn't. Uh, luckily it was a goal in the end and here is a free kick for uh, James Ward Prowse but it went out wide not the best free kick taken there and here's Robinson to Lundstrom crosses the middle to Brian should have scored there and here's McQueen and and all right Eberichi as comes back on from his injury eight, eight, uh, eight weeks injury and he misses that and here is right here last chances here probably of the season he's a one two by Aberichu as again can he score here yes he does scoring the final goal of the season and that's how we can say bye bye to the 2019 2020 season we did a pretty good job ending up at six we lost 10 even though i should have done better with that um but anyway i'm not going to complain much because we we've been doing pretty good actually and uh we score 67 goals which is quite a lot but anyway after this i am going to do a all season goals so i think there i think there's like 70 or 69 goals in total but uh anyway that's how that's how we end it off and uh, FA Cup winner, or oh, EFL winner, it's uh, Manchester United. And here's a, what is the Super Cup? And this is the final, uh, Champions League final and also Europa League final. You guys can see on the screen, Barcelona against Liverpool, Lazio against Manchester United. In terms of our objective, I, <laughs> I kind of ignore it because so far we haven't called up any of the uh, youth, youth member. Well, which is not part of the uh, part of the schedule, but uh, no, not part. Uh, it's part of the objective, but I can't ignore it at that point. Um, but for me, most important part is trying to get European football. That's it. You squad, I can do that in other career mode, but right now, and right now, I'm focusing on the result. So here is the uh, here is the report. Bradley Mitchell looking very bright here, having a potential eighty to ninety four. And here is the and here is the uh, squad report, but I'm not gonna call call them up un until the next season. You guys will get to find out soon. And only five of them left so far, but a lot of them might not be uh, the brightest yet. But you never know in the future. So we gotta do a little bit of uh, a little bit of training to get started, or to get a hit over uh, the next season. So, at this point, I got sim to the end of it, and uh, I caught up. So I did a little bit of training with the youth members, helped them to get, you know, to get more developed when they get caught up. You know, hitting like 60, 65 marks. You know, in the end, it's usable in the cup. It's a cup fixture, and Liverpool won in the FA Cup. That would be a double for them. And Manchester United, oh, actually, you know what? Old news. I'm still waiting. Oh, Super Cup, Champions League. Oh, and Barcelona got the revenge 3 0 in the final. And they are crowned the Champions League. And that's how the season is going to end. And what a great journey, guys. And thank you guys for watching and support. It's it's great fun to do this uh, career mode again, but absolutely I am going to play season two for sure, as we have bigger bigger commitments ahead. And again, we look at this final monthly update. 
before we sign off no henry edwards looks all right i'm gonna sign him too what took me so long there peter collins is a no patrick bailey is a no reese kelly is a no connor davis it's a you know gotta close your monitor again and that's how the season ends whoa perfect next season we are definitely going to uh we're definitely looking to qualify in the champions league football but of course a lot of changes need to be made in the team because right now we don't have the brightest or the best players to compete in that tournament and anyway we're gonna sign out here so stay tuned for season two in the next episode like this video subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one.